What is the science behind muscle growth? Firstly, for muscle growth, we need to apply stress, which is greater than what our muscles are used to. This leads to mTOR and satellite cell activation. Both are responsible for muscle growth. Hmm. Secondly, when one feels sore after a workout, one may be experiencing localized muscle damage. This leads to the activation of satellite cells, which are said to be responsible for muscle growth. <laughs> Hmm. Lastly, pump training, as in doing repetitions at a fast speed with short rest intervals, causes metabolic stress. Metabolic stress causes cell swelling around the muscles, thus making them appear larger. Hmm. Why do humans have five fingers? A theory suggests that we have five fingers because together they make a perfect strong grip. Using them, we can operate small objects with great control and precision. Second theory suggests that three molecules called BMP, WNT, and SOX9 are responsible for our five fingers. Since in our embryonic stage, they mark out spaces specifically for these five fingers. Finally, Lim Law predicts that the number of fingers on our hand should be around five Based on the idea that since fingers must be able to reach back over our palm and cover it, the finger length should be roughly the same as the diameter of our palm. Hmm. What causes some people to stutter? In our brain, Wernicke's area and Broca's area control our speech and language. Wernicke's area helps in choosing the correct words to express our thoughts. Whereas Broca's area is believed to be involved in producing movements in vocal folds, tongue, etc., thus allowing us to speak those words. Now, stuttering can occur if a brain injury or stroke either damages the Broca's area or reduces the blood flow to this region, thus not allowing it to produce movements properly. Hmm. How does a plant poop? Firstly, some plants get rid of their waste material by peeling off their bark, as well as by shedding off their leaves. Secondly, some plants get rid of their waste material in the form of secretions, such as latex, gum, resin, etc. Thirdly, some plants remove their excess water through tiny pores present on the margins of their leaves. This process is called guttation. Lastly, Carnivorous plants like Venus flytrap catch insects, extract their juices, and then open up, thus allowing the waste material to fall off. Hmm. Huh? Why do some people develop allergies? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. Thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. How exactly do we cough? When anything irritates our breathing passage, our brain activates the cough response. First of all, we gasp in a large volume of air into our lungs. Next, our epiglottis closes, thus closing off the windpipe. Then our rib muscles begin to contract, thus putting pressure on the lungs. But as the windpipe is closed, the air can't move out, so more pressure builds up. Finally, the epiglottis opens and air forcefully rushes out, carrying the irritant and thus producing a cough. Hmm. How will we sound on Mars? Firstly, because of the cold Martian atmosphere, sound travels at a lower speed on Mars as compared to that on Earth. Hmm. Secondly, as the Martian atmosphere is extremely sparse, it affects the way sound waves travel from one point to the other. Hence, the volume of sound heard on Mars is automatically lower. Hmm. Lastly, the Martian atmosphere is made up of around 96% carbon dioxide. 
Carbon dioxide absorbs a lot of higher-pitched sounds. As a result, only lower-pitched sounds can travel long distances on Mars. Hmm. What exactly is blood rain? Firstly, around Sahara Desert, brownish dust and sand carried away by storms mixes with water droplets in the clouds, thus giving the rain its brownish-red color. Secondly, in Kerala, red spores of Trentipolelia annulata algae get carried away by winds and mix with the falling water droplets, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. Lastly, in Zamora, Hematococcus pluvialis algae actually get caught in the rain clouds. As a result, they get stressed and produce a red pigment called astaxanthin, thus causing blood rain. Hmm. Where does gold come from? Simple, from Amsum's locker. Oh, Amsum! Gold is produced only when a supernova occurs. As in, when stars explode or when neutron stars collide with each other. During such events, heavy elements such as gold are formed via the rapid neutron capture process. Now, when the Earth was getting formed, gold, along with other heavy elements, sank towards the Earth's core. It is believed that around 4 billion years ago, a huge number of asteroids collided with planet Earth, stirring its core and forcing some of the gold into the Earth's mantle, as well as crust. Hmm. What is claustrophobia? I think... I think... I think it is the name of a new burger! <laughs> oh, um, some. <laughs> claustrophobia is an anxiety disorder. It is an intense fear of confined or enclosed spaces. Symptoms of claustrophobia may include shortness of breath, faster heartbeat, sweating, etc. Some researchers believe that a defect in one of our genes may be the cause of our claustrophobia. Hmm. It is also believed that if one of our parents has claustrophobia, then we are more likely to have it. Hmm. Finally, it is also believed that our fear of enclosed spaces may be stemming from a traumatic childhood event like being stuck in an elevator. Hmm. What is cholesterol in the human body? No idea. But Amsum does not have any cholesterol. Oh, Amsum! <laughs> cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance. It is present in all the cells of our body. Cholesterol helps in building cells, vitamins, as well as hormones. Our liver makes all the cholesterol needed by us. But sometimes, our eating habits can force our liver to make more cholesterol than necessary. It combines with other substances and forms a thick heart deposit on the inside of our arteries. As a result, our arteries become narrow, increasing the risk of heart disease or stroke. Hmm. 